Welcome back. Joining us this morning from Birmingham is the Republican Congressman from Alabama, Spencer Backus, ranking member of the House Financial Services Committee, and a Republican Congressman from Michigan, Dave Camp. He's in Midland, where I was born, Joe. Oh, that's right. Uh, mm -hmm. Ranking member of the House Ways and Means Committee, and member of the President's Fiscal Commission, along with our guest hosts, uh, Senator Bai and Senator Gregg. Congressman, uh, uh, good morning to you. Welcome uh, and congratulations. Again, with you, Congressman uh, Backus, um, your, uh, the likelihood that you take over as chairman. How, how, how large is it? Well, I think uh, that I will be chairman of financial services, and uh, uh, I think that uh, we have to listen to the American people, and that's what we'll, we have done, and that's what we will do. And they want limited government. They want jobs. They want the economy moving, and they don't want uh, taxes to increase. And uh, I'll work with Dave and uh, the leadership to, uh, to begin uh, scaling back on some of the uh, destructive policies of the administration. Uh, can you give us some specific examples? And, and when you say scaling back, um, does that mean tinkering along the edges or uh, repealing them outright? What? Well, the first thing we're going to do is have vigorous oversight. Uh, this administration, because you've had the Senate, the House, uh, uh, both under Democratic control, we've had no oversight. and. Uh, a lot of their law, when they can't uh, pass legislation, they've done it through regulation. <clears throat> and uh, they're, they continue to make decisions and push for decisions to be made by uh, bureaucrats in Washington instead of people in companies. And uh, America got to be strong. We're the strongest economy in the world, but we got there uh, by private ownership, by free markets. Uh, not by the government running the show and managing a, a command and control economy. And uh, we got there uh, really by having a lean government that stayed out of making business decisions and financial decisions. And we need to get back to that model that made us a, good, a great country. Spencer, can I ask you a question? And you probably haven't got a position on this yet, but you know, when we did the financial bill, a lot of bad law was passed in that bill. Do you think you might go back and reopen right. that bill? And if you do, are you concerned about the dislocation that would occur again? Because a lot of, as we got to the end of that bill, a lot of people were saying, well, just get it done so we got some stability in the markets and we know what we're facing. What, how are you going to approach the bill, do you know? Well, Judd, uh, you're right. There are a lot of job-killing provisions in that bill. And there are a lot of just uh, new bureaucracies uh, created, you know, 16,000 IRS agents. Uh, derivatives is something that you work very hard on, and, and uh, on derivatives, putting all derivatives on exchanges is just one example of something that's going to dry up liquidity, it's going to impact the economy, it's going to cost jobs. So we will take incremental steps knowing that uh, we've got to have bi bipartisan agreement in the Senate. Uh, but there, it, there are a lot of things we can accomplish in a short time if we have some bipartisan cooperation from uh, moderate Democrats. And the message the American people sent to them last night is uh, either get off the train or, or, or uh, get with uh, this idea of, uh, of uh, resisting Obama's overreaching uh, expansionist policies.